Today we're talking all about the Dye Me Dover Fall Winter 2020 collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're going to open this massive box from Dagny Dover. Can't get it all in frame. There we go, kind of. It's a massive box. And I'm going to open it and take you through all of my favorite picks from this collection. I am so excited about the video today because it's a collaboration with two amazing women, Jen from Poppins Approved and Ashley from Gator Mom. I love what these two girls do on their channel. They love bags just as much as I do. So if you love my content, you're sure to love theirs as well. They are also going to be unboxing their picks from the fall winter collection. So be sure to check out the description box down below to check out both of their videos. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt the camera down, pull everything out with you so that you can get a good up close look. Let's do it. Let's take a look at what is inside. I took the liberty of removing a lot of the wrapping from the items so that way we wouldn't have to dig through all that. Um, but the first item I want to show you is the Mara Phone Sling. This is one of my favorite items from Dagny Dover, and this is in their beautiful blueprint color. This color is so vibrant and so pretty. I am obsessed with it. Um, you're going to have the rubber nameplate from Dagny Dover and the chunky plastic zippers. Um, this particular style, I just love to toss into like larger bags. Let me take out all the... I didn't take out the wrapping from the inside. So every style will come with a little Dagny Dover dust bag. But here's a quick look at the Mara phone sling. I do have a full review of this, which I can link in the description box down below. All right, let's look at the color bandage. I was on the fence about this color, guys, but I have to tell you, it's just a perfect neutral. It's so, so pretty. This is the Small Hunter toiletry case, and it's gonna have that rubberized nameplate, the chunky zipper. The inside of the Hunter is going to have the organization with those loops, and then on the opposite side, it has that removable pouch, which is Velcro. Love that. Another feature of the Hunter toiletry case is that you can unsnap the sides, so that you can really open it nice and wide. So you do have that option too. All right, what's next? Let's look at some of the card cases. I got two card cases from this launch. I got the pinkish one. This is um, the little card case that has a snap. It has silver hardware, and this is in a coated canvas material, and it has one, two, two card slots on the front, one on the back, and a little D-ring right here. And then here's an up-close look at the color. The pinkish color on the card case is a bit different than the pinkish color on the other bag, so I'm going to show you that in a sec too, but there's an up-close look at this one. Very cute. And then here's a close look at the other card case. It has kind of like ink blots on it. This is the accordion card case. This case is made of leather and it has a magnetic closure and an accordion style opening like that, which is really nice. And then a little pocket on the back. So those are the two card cases that I got. Next is the mica. This is in the beautiful pinkish color. It is called pinkish because it really does have kind of a lavender purplish undertone and it is really, really pretty. The Mica Crossbody is an amazing little bag. I've done a full review on this. I've used it as a potty training bag. I was able to fit diapers, wipes, even a foldable potty seat in here. Um, it's really, really spacious. I love it. Um, here's what a look at the inside looks like. Comes with a little key leash. There's a mesh pocket right here. Then on the opposite side, there's a zipper pocket. And then there's some organization here in the front. Comes with an adjustable crossbody strap. And then on the back, you have a magnetic cell phone pocket on the back. There you go. Love that pinkish color. Um, let me show you the difference. So here's the mica. Here is the card case. You can see a slight difference as it tra the color translates to different fabrics. The mica's neoprene and then that little card case was coated canvas. But there's a quick look at the mica. Let's see what else we got in there. Then I got two more small hunter toiletry cases, one in pinkish, one in blueprint, um, because I do plan on giving these away. So I'm gonna leave them wrapped up, but how beautiful are these? All right, probably the item that you guys have all been waiting for. Well, the two items. Um, Dagny Dover came out with two new sizes of indie backpack. So I have this small 
and I have the medium, and I also have a large one um, in a previous color. Let's start with the small first. I got this small in black, and guys, it is seriously so cute. It's such a cute size, especially if you're downsizing from your normal big, huge diaper bags and you want something a little bit smaller. This is absolutely adorable. So it's going to have the same features as the big indie, which means all the same pockets. This is a um, this is one pocket in the front, but two ways to enter. And then on the zipper pulls, you're gonna have the little rubberized pulls, the little snap downs on each side, on the back of the bag. You're gonna have those really nice, soft, cushy straps, the small zippers on either side, and then the D-rings up on top. The bag also comes with all of the goodies that the, that the big one comes with. So you have a changing pad. You have a little pouch. You have a removable neoprene sleeve. And then lastly, you also get stroller straps. Let's see what those look like. One. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at the medium indie. I'm so excited to show you guys. I got the medium indie in the gray color. And the medium indie is honestly, I'm gonna be really interested to see how it compares to the large because it is a, re it is a fairly large bag. There's a quick look at the two bags right next to each other. Again, same features on the gray bag. It's gonna come with the same items as well. So you're going to get So you're going to get the gray pouch, you're going to get the gray changing pad, you're going to get the gray stroller straps, and then also the little neoprene sleeve that snaps in and out. So let's take a look at both of these bags right next to each other. So there is the small and the medium. Let's turn them sideways. There they are side by side. You can kind of get an idea there. I'm gonna grab my large and plop it up here and show you that one too. So here's a quick look at all three sizes next to each other. See if that's helpful for you guys. The small black one, the medium gray, and then the large in storm. This is what they all look like. I, I feel like they did a good job distributing the sizes. Um, I feel like there is enough of a difference between them. I'm gonna be real interested to see how they all pack up though. I don't know about you guys, but that packing video will be coming real soon in comparison. There are the three indies right next to each other. What are your thoughts on this? Be interested to know. But there you go guys, that is everything I got in my fall winter haul from Dagny Dover. All right guys, so that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below if you shopped this capsule and if so, what you picked. I'll see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye!